Welcome to Up Close and Personal with your boy Thesis. Now, real quick, today we've got the Barrel Starter Kit by Dad One Tech. That shit sounds hood as fuck. Dad One Tech TW.com, hit him up. They did sponsor this video. Big shout out to them. I appreciate the fuck out of that. With that, let's go and break it down, son. So, first and foremost, uh, Dad One Tech is semi new to me. I was I saw him last uh, would have been 2019 August at ECC. Well, it's good, right? it's all checked them out i saw their hexomes in particular fell in love with them and then i tried the barrel and i was like this shit needs to be exploited and fucking shot out everywhere i don't understand why these are not more popular than they are in terms of an all-in-one you can get close to being as good but not for the price that these guys are offered at i just realized that this box is different than this box Huh. Now the box itself is kind of flimsy. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just cardboard But if they spend less money on the cardboard they can pass that savings on to the consumer or at least that's the theory on top We have the warranty slash warranty card. Here's the user manual itself Which is always a good thing for a beginning vapor super simple to use I'll break it down for you guys in a moment. Oh shit. I've not seen the red before Whew. I'm enjoying this red one. I sort of wish I picked this one when I was gonna get my tester kit God, that's pretty so inside the box you get the tank Two milliliters, by the way. You get the actual device itself. Right here, we've got the USB charger. I wish it was longer because it's super short. And this is a pass-through, so you can keep this on the charger and it will still vape, which I don't know why companies don't do more of that. Recently, I found a few different devices that were all-in-ones or pod systems. I have them plugged in. I go to use it and it doesn't work, especially with the battery that's only, you know, 300, 400, 500 milliamp hour. That's ridiculous. This one is 900 milliamp hour, so you won't have to worry about battery life in terms of just overall longevity. We do have the single coil right here. This is a 1.6 ohm atomizer. And we've got extra O-rings for the tank itself again i've never really had a problem with changing out o-rings even this guy is two years old and i'm still rocking the same o-ring right here we've got this extremely strong magnetic top cap we'll talk about this in a moment but this is my favorite feature aside from the flavor 510 style drip tip but it's not actually a 510 as you can see it's a sleeve we have the actual tank itself pops out two different tabs you can put it on either way that you want like that or like that makes no difference. Here's the base of the actual tank. It is not 510 threaded. Of course, it is an all-in-one. So we'll go ahead and take this 1.6 ohm atomizer. It is recommended to be 3.6 to 4.2 volts, which is perfect because that's what this device offers. Pop the tank on like this. And then of course, right here, we have this giant opening for the liquid to go. Again, two milliliters. and does have these nice knurlings that we can get that decent grip on it. So with that aside, I'm gonna go ahead and pop open the one that I've been using. And that way we can keep this one brand spanking new for the next person to receive it. Do not pass judgment on this one because I did rip this apart. I've dropped it on concrete. It's been in my pocket from basically since August. And I've just beaten the piss out of it. It's withstood every bit of abuse that I've dished out to it. One, two, three, four, five, let it turn on. I have it on 4.2 volts as well as 50% battery. Now, like I was saying earlier, I've been using this in the studio, also in the shop, hooked up to an extremely long, I think it was like an eight foot micro USB cable. And I would just let it sit like that. I would take my puffs, I would put it back down and never really disconnect it. Once I started using this with just the battery, I found that I was getting anywhere between four and eight hours easily before it would start to get down to the 50% mark. And that's where I've been using it all day long, sitting in the studio using this, it's at 50% and it's been six hours since it's came off the charger. And that's basically me just chain vaping it nonstop. I just refilled this bad boy with Frisco Vapor Soma, three milligram. Usually I'd be rocking a Nick Salt in here, but the flavor was so good, I didn't necessarily need it. I was able to chain vape with it wide open like this on the round robin airflow sleeve ring, and then just hit it and quit it nonstop. Let's go and take a puff right now. Mm. Something worth noting, the 1.6 ohm atomizer mutes the flavor just a bit in comparison to the 1.2. And it's something where I didn't really notice it until I started rocking this specific flavor here. The sweetness tends to come out a little bit better on the 1.2 ohm atomizer than it does in the 1.6, which is fine. The 1.6 comes with it, but if you're gonna pick this up, you may as well pick up a whole pack of coils when you do so. My recommendation is the 1.2 ohm. I like the sweetness to come through in my juice, especially menthols. Like I was saying a little bit ago, my favorite feature of this device, aside from flavor, is this top cap. This should be utilized on a lot more devices. I'm not sure why it's not. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this at the bottom where it belongs, just like this. Hit the button. Mm. As soon as I'm wrapped up vaping, pop it on top. This is something where I don't understand why more tanks, all the one systems, etc., don't offer a magnetic ring like this. My assumption is because of money, it's more parts, it seems more complicated, but it's really not. You take this out, put it there on the bottom, and it doesn't go anywhere. I've never lost my top cap, and I lose shit on a constant basis. I drop shit on a constant basis. The fact that this isn't cracked, the fact that it hasn't been lost because of the magnetic being that strong is a huge compliment to that one tech. Now, aesthetically speaking, it is gorgeous. I do prefer the red one now that I've seen that one up close 
close, but this one looks pretty damn good too. I've been rocking this one for a little while. It's white. You can see kind of the edges starting to brown. Not a big deal. It's rubber coated. I don't know if it's a Cerakote, but I have zero scratches on here that I can tell. I'm looking at it up close right there. You can see a little bit, but that's about, I can't even tell if that's not a part of the actual design or if I did that. That's yeah, pretty fucking spectacular. So again, I do want to point out the screen. The screen is missing, not their fault. I dropped it on the concrete. The edge of it was just kind of barely up. What I ended up by doing was trying to push it back in and in doing that, I fucked it up. There's two little clips that were on the inside. I shoved my knife and I broke one of the clips. Right here at the base, you got the round robin airflow ring. Controls it just like that and go, it does go all the way around. I've been rocking this wide open and I've also used an MTL status all the way down to about, oh, maybe a ninth, maybe an eighth open, just basically a pinhole. Let's go and take a listen to hear how that sounds. Nope, that's got a little bit of a whistle. Bring it down even more. Mm. virgin tight. I'm telling y'all Ninja Kitties, the airflow on this, the flavor on these coils, the 1.2 again is a little bit better, but I'm rocking the 1.6 in this one. The flavor in these coils, it's like 75 to 85% there. This is a newer liquid for me, so judging it based on this, I would actually say it's probably higher, but in terms of my daily vape when it comes to a Nick salt that I use for liquid testing and tank testing, it's probably a solid 75% there, specifically with that 1.6 ohm. That one tech, y'all have got my approval times 10. I wish I had a lifetime supply of these just to give out to smokers. I would give this out with like a bottle of tobacco, Nick salts, maybe a 25 or maybe a 35 milligram nicotine and just hand them out like candy. This, in my opinion, is one of the better all-in-one systems I've seen come out of China. As of early December, 2019, this is phenomenal. I'm digging the fuck out of it. This top cap, again, one of my favorite things. It keeps shit not sterile, but it keeps it less germified in terms of just dust getting in there. Specifically for people like myself who are always working with their hands whether it be metal shavings, sawdust, you name it. I like the fact that this is covered up in my pocket. Of course, if you have germs on there from your mouth, that can be a bit of an incubator. Just make sure you keep that shit clean. Simple as that. Bitch, it's okay, some other truckers. Now with that being said, let's go and get back to regular your son. <clears throat> My final summation is this, that one tech barrel, in my opinion, is one of the better all-in-ones that I've seen come across my desk in quite some time. In fact, like I said, I saw it in August. I picked one up in August, not one. I picked up a bunch in August uh, at ECC. I was very impressed with the overall, just the overall use of it, because to me, like this top cap, and it's not the first time we've seen a top cap, don't get me wrong, but it's the first time I've seen a, to a magnetic top cap like this be utilized in an all-in-one device that works. It doesn't get lost. It's not attached by a little fucking dongle, which is annoying. I've had that also before. Not impressive. Not impressed with that kind of bullshit. This whole bit is worth its weight in gold as a contractor. If you're a contractor, you're working on fucking windows, carpentry, metal shit, it doesn't matter. If you're just jerking off, you don't want semen to get inside that drip tip. The fact that the 1.2 ohm atomizer, in my opinion, gives off a little bit better flavor, granted flavor subjective, is ah, I wish the 1.6 did. I wish I had the same flavor profile on either one. And I've used it extensively. Look at the screen. So that right there, you know I've been using this for a while. You know I've got a full blown opinion on it. The Hexome, I like the Hexome design. This is the one I've been using. This is the one that Mandy's been using. I like the design better only because it's a box. It just kind of fits better sitting on a desk. It doesn't have anywhere near the power, the oomph, the punch, the flavor that the barrel does. And it's just, this is not a Hexome review necessarily, but it's just kind of comparing and contrast. This whole overall profile of it, the, just the physicality, the aesthetics of it, looks cool, it looks nice. It's just, you can hide it within your hand. It's a perfect, Stealth vape. I want to touch on the fact that the MTL status of this is annoying up until you get down to that pinhole level. The pinhole level doesn't have that annoying whistle that it does when it's an eighth open. Let's open it up a little bit. Listen to see if you can hear this. See. That shit is annoying, but it's adjustable. So I mean, you could just turn that down a little bit more. Bam, pinhole for an MTL. That one tech, y'all have murdered it. You've done something that very few companies can't do, and that's simply it's, make it a, make it. Fully MTL, as well as a full-blown, you know, direct, restricted, but direct to lung. Let's go and open it wide open. Lately, that's kind of where I've been liking it, only because, you know, I've swapped out liquids for a Nick Salt to regular nicotine at three milligrams. Mm. No, I'm not cloud chasing, flavor chasing. Two completely separate things. The flavor on this is spectacular. Again, 1.6 ohm, not quite as good as the 1.2 ohm, but the 1.2 ohm, ah, you get a little bit worse battery life. Just, just gotta deal with it. The clickiness of the button, extreme. I would call that an extreme click. The adjustability of it, 3.2 or 3.6 volts, all the way up to 4.2, it's perfection. It delivers a beautiful flavor. It, de it delivers a beautiful amount of vapor for what you're getting. Small, it's perfect for someone who lives an active life, who doesn't want dust inside their drip tip. Now, I know what you're asking yourself. Hey, yo, Jesus, what you 
put on the capability scale, bitch. Great question, hot bitch viewer. I'm gonna say for an all-in-one device, in terms of versatility alone, mm, 7.5. Overall, in terms of performance and what it does, what it promises and what it delivers, mm, again, solid 7.5, 7.8. It's okay, smother truckers. Now, with that being said, I want to tell you that I preached up a vaping with thesis. It is your boy thesis. I'm out. Mm.